once you know what's deep in your heart and what's stopping you from becoming that light, he will teach you a way out. He will teach you to fight against it. He will teach you that there will be no sin that can stop you from getting there. So that is our God. We've lost a little focus on who our God is and let little things infiltrate in our heart, but he just says, love me, follow me. I'm your dad, what's the problem here? I know everything you can, ask Jonah. Ask Jonah what he did. He tried to hide from God, but he, lo- he failed miserably. Failed miserably. You, that shows us that we can't hide from God and he knows all things. We can pray. And I'll say little details, and he goes, I still know I'm standing here. You act like I can't see you right now. You act like this is, are we just pretending that there's nothing going on with you? Okay, everywhere you go, you'll see. You'll see, and then then you'll know I'm speaking to you. That is our God. He's always speaking. He's always molding. He's always trying to help our lights be shining. I know even we can get shy with that light. We don't want to expose it in a way, and we're like, Jesus, I don't think we can do this. But whose strength is it through? His. Amen. It's not through anyone else's strength. We're not here to glorify anyone else, glorify people. We're here to say, it's all for you. So if I mess up on stage, there's a reason why I messed up. There's a place that needs to be checked up. There's a place that he's going to... He's going to show you the progressive sanctification. He's going to show you, you messed up this time, but don't worry, the next time you won't mess up. Because Because that's that's where you will learn to surrender to him. That's That's where you will learn, okay, I slipped up. I think I got prideful. I think I got this. I will surrender it all. And once you surrender everything to Jesus, everything will go smoothly. Everything will go so peacefully. Everything will go the way that was planned to me. And then you're just like, wow, that was not me. Because he spoke. He did what he needed to do. We love love this God, huh? (laughs) He's so good. He is really good. There's nothing more than this God who always tries to talk to his children. But some, but we don't like to listen. I tell you, we're so rebellious. We really think we're, you know, we think we know what we're doing. We don't know what we're doing. We really don't. We're rebellious children in one way. And we'll never be perfect until the day that Christ Jesus returns. Just everyone know that. There's no such thing as being perfect. There's not a perfect Christian. Everyone falls. The only time we'll be perfect is when Jesus calls us home. That's the only time. Or if we die, then we go with him. So once we surrender ourselves and let the Lord into our hearts and let him mold us and let him show the way, that he, the way he wants to speak to us, the way that he wants to be shown through us, that's when our light begins. When we let the difference change us, when we let this word of God actually penetrate our heart, when we actually let him and say, okay, I give up. I don't want to, I don't even want to do my own thing because every time I try to do it, I fall. Every time I do it, something goes wrong. But when you do it, everything turns out perfect. Everything wants to, everything falls into the place that it should be. So tonight, or today, it's not even nighttime, um, but this day, all I want is for everyone to understand how much he loves us dearly. That you know, rebukes are not a bad thing. Corrections are not a bad thing. Checking our hearts every once in a while is not a bad thing because when we check our heart, that's where we see the placement of God in our hearts. That's where we can see our relationship. Just asking him, Lord, what have I done? Is, is my heart right with you? Am I right with you? Are we in the same level? What is going on here? What have I put before you? Because there's, we don't want to stand in a time where we think we're in the light and we're in darkness. We want to be in full surrender to him in his light so that when we go out there, when we say we're going to do something for Jesus, it will be done in his name. It will be done to glorify him. It will be only through his strength. We can say that, oh, we're going to go out preaching and do this, but if God says no, if if God is not, if Jesus is not in the middle, just forget about it, throw it out the window because it's him and him alone. He gets all the honor, and he gets all the glory. Nobody else gets it other than him. 
So when we reflect our hearts, when we reflect on who we are, when we reflect on who our God is, the light will come. Amen. The power will come. Amen. We'll, people will stop and they, they will fall. People will get healed just from one prayer. People will get healed just from you laying hands on them. People will rise up from the dead just from you praying. Just going boom. That is when the power comes. So, thank you. Stay blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. That was powerful. That was powerful. Praise the Lord. Oh, that's great. That's wonderful. Living as a light to glorify God. We are all the light of the world, and that is what we have been called to do. Hallelujah. That light that is in us, we ought to bring it out. Hallelujah. We've just heard from our own youth, and we are really happy to see what God is doing in their lives. And um, I don't know. It's, it's such, such a wonderful thing to see the future generation yeah. being held in wanting to understand who God is. That's my joy. That to know that tomorrow there's somebody that is going to stand at the pulpit and preach the gospel of God. Not even the gospel, the true doctrine, the true gospel. Because they are referring from the word of God. Hallelujah. That is wonderful. A big clap to nature. Glorify God. Hallelujah. And a big love to Jesus Christ for the great thing he has done. As I say, today, the pulpit was occupied by future, uh, future bishops, pastors, and great men of God who are going to do great things for the kingdom. Not only those ones who are here, even the technical support. Very young boys are moving this equipment to work. The sound and everything. Very young guys. At my age, I would not think of doing such things. But I thank God because of Bishop Christ is a church that he has let the youth do all these things. Hallelujah. Aren't you happy? Let's thank God for our Bishop. As we welcome him to come and bless us and move us to the next level. Welcome, Bishop, man of God. Let us stand up and pray. <clears throat> Hallelujah. This is not about a man. This is not about a person. This is about God. The reason why we gather here is all about Jesus. And uh, we would like to give glory back to him because this church is about him, not about a person. Let's leave those hands before God. <clears throat> Our Father, we thank you. This afternoon you have spoken to us about being the right that you have called us to be. And Lord, you are reminding us we can only be right if we connect with you. We can only be powerful when we walk in you. Yes, there is a, a promise in the book of John that greater things than you did shall you do also. But these things we will be able to do them when we are well connected with you, when we are at your presence, when we let your presence fall down upon our lives. Father, how I pray that this afternoon that you help each and every one of us to let your presence fall down upon our lives. That we can become the right you desire us to become. Because when we become a right, oh God, out there the place where we work. Jehovah, those people whom we work with, our comrades, those people who are out there working together with us. They will get to know you even without us preaching. Because they will see the right that we are. They will see our actions. They will see our deeds. And Father, those deeds and those actions will attract them to you and they will surrender their lives to you. When we become a right in our own homes, our wives, our husbands, and the people around us will see that right. And Father, they will surrender to you. 
How I pray, my Father, help our Christianity to be practical Christianity. Help us, O oh God, in this journey to be practical in the way we live. This is what you are speaking to us this morning, that you desire us to be practical in our walk. When we talk about love, help us to love, O oh God, that my Father will walk in this love, that people who are out there and they are hurting and they are in need and they are in what and they are calling on you will show up in their lives. And Father, they will be able to identify with your love because they will see love in us, O oh God. We thank you and we honor you. I pray for your people, O oh God, those that are watching us online and even those who are in the house today, that every one of us will desire to be the right. You are telling us this morning, and the theme of this youth meeting today was arise and shine. Help every one of us to desire to arise. Help every one of us to desire to arise in you, O oh God, that we can shine, that your glory can come down upon us, O oh God. And when your glory comes down, we don't even need to talk. Your glory, my Father, will demonstrate power because whenever your glory comes, O oh Father, it defeats men. I remember one time the Bible tells me your glory fell down in the tent of meeting, O oh God, during the days of Moses. And people at the pavement during the days of Solomon. At the pavement, people could not even stand. They all knelt. Those who came to see you, those who came to connect with you, they could not even get closer to your house. They just knelt on the pavement. And whenever they would try to raise up their head, the glory would cover them. And they all knelt and they worshipped you under the power and under the glory that came down. Lord, I pray even in our day, let that glory come down. The glory that will help us not to be able to lift our, our head. The glory that will help us not even to talk too much. The glory that will talk on our behalf. The glory that will speak on our situations. The glory that will speak on the sicknesses that we carry. The glory that will speak on the poverty that we have. That Lord will walk rich under your glory. We will walk rich under your power. Your power will be made manifest, oh God. And we don't have to talk. We don't have to tell people anything. But Lord, they will see your glory and they will submit. They will see your glory and they will know who we are. They will see your glory and your glory will speak on our behalf. Release that glory, Lord. Help us, O oh God, to connect with you like Solomon connected with you on that day. That your glory came down so powerfully that everybody who was there, they, were, they became witnesses of your power. They went out talking about what God is able to do without anybody saying anything. Because you came. Come into our lives, O oh God. We have got situations in our lives that need your glory. Father, there are people in our families who are sick. They need your glory. Because when your glory comes down, they are going to be healed. Father, when your glory comes down in our marriages, those marriages that are struggling, they will be healed, oh God. Relationships that are struggling, when your glory comes down, those relationships will be healed, oh God. Children who are struggling, some of them are struggling with education. When your glory comes down, Father, they are going, my Father, to be, it is going to be well with them. And their heads, my Father, will open up and they will be able, my Father, to understand. And my Father, they will excel in their education because your glory has come down. Where there is barrenness in our lives, when your glory comes down, it will break the yoke of barrenness. We are going to be productive because of the glory of God. We call for your glory, Lord. We call for your presence, Lord, to come down upon our lives that my Father we can produce. We know and we have read this. When revival comes, oh God, during those days when revival came, even lands that could not produce, they started producing because the presence of God came down. Lord, we know when your presence comes down, things take a different direction. Things change because of the presence of God. All that we need, Lord, this year is your presence. All that we need this year is you to walk with us. All that we need this year is, Lord, your presence to walk with us. We don't have to talk too much. We don't have to yell. My Father, when your presence is with us, it will talk on our behalf. 
we surrender our lives to you. Help everyone who is here to yearn and to desire for more of you, more of your presence, more of your glory, more of you in our lives, more of you in our homes, more of you in our situations, oh God. Let that be our cry. Let that be our prayer, that we want to see you more. And as, Lord, your glory rises upon us, oh my Father, greater things will happen and darkness will cease. Darkness won't cover us. Darkness will never cover our lives because your glory will shine, O oh God. Have your way in every heart, O oh God. You know the situations your people are going through. Father, you are able to see the hearts of your people. You are able, my Father, to see what your children are going through. We cannot, there is nothing we can hide before you. When you look at us, O oh Father, we are naked before thy eyes. There is nothing we can hide, O oh God. And what we, we know we need is you, King of glory. We need this right which comes from you. And this morning, Father, this is what we are crying for. This is what we are calling for, that you release your right upon our lives. We bless your name. We honor your name. I still have got a few minutes. You may be there. And you have got a need that you feel you need God. You have got a particular need in your life where you are telling God, come through for me. Something that you can point, something that you know is oppressing you. I still, I feel the Lord wants to deliver you. Lift that hand up. A person with a need. I don't need to know your need. God knows you. He knows that need that you have. He knows the situation you are going through. He knows the issues that the need is touched. He knows that situation that need him to intervene. He is here, and I feel the Holy Spirit of God saying, He wants to do something in your life. If you are that person, lift up that hand up. Lift that hand up. Don't lift like you fear. It is God who is going to deal with it. Not a man is God. Father, behold, your servants are lifting up their hands before you. You know every one of them, and you know what they are going through. Some of them, their backs are against the wall. Because of situations they are going through, because of issues in their lives. But Lord, you are our deliverer. This morning we sang and we said, you are our deliverer. Oh God, look at the situation of my brother. Look at the situation of my sister. Look at the issue my sister is against, is up against, oh God. Look at the issue my brother is up against, my father. Some of them are living crying. Some of them, whenever they go home, oh God, when they, they are out of the church and they are alone all by themselves, they are always in tears, my father. Because of that situation, my God, you who is able, my God, you who is our deliverer, deliver my brother, deliver my sister, Deliver your people, oh God, over the situation they are going through. In the mighty name of Jesus, we depend on you, King of glory. If you don't come, our Father, your people will be defeated. Usipokuja Baba, watu wako watashindwa. Na ninaomba katika jina la Yesu Kristo, ukateremuke, ukawaguze, waguze mungu ishe milele. Touch your people, our Father. Touch your people, our Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever situations they are going through, that issue that is giving my sister sleepless night, come through for her. In the mighty name of Jesus, that issue which is giving my brother headache, come through for them. In the name of Jesus, your word tells us you are God who answers prayers for your people. We are calling on you, Jehovah, that you come through for your people. You are prayer answering God. You are God who waits for your people to call. And you can come and intervene in the situation. Intervene in the situation of my brother. Intervene in the situation of my sister. Intervene in the situation your children are going through. Father, there are some that are worried because they feel they are going to lose their lives if this is not going to
to happen. My God, I want to thank you. When Daniel was thrown in the dance of lion, you are not scared by the lions that had been fasting. You came down where the lions were, and you were able to pull your servant, and he came without a, he came out without a scratch. Oh God, my brother is going to come out without a scratch. My sister is going to come out without a scratch. Because your heart will deliver them. Because your heart will deliver them. Your mighty hand will come for the deliverance. We'll come for the your healing. We'll come for the your restoration. We'll come for the your restoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are God who is able. You are God who identifies with those who are in need. Identify with the needs of your people. Jehovah, we give you praise. There are those, oh God, who have got family members that they have never known you. They have never connected with the grace of salvation. How I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, reach out to our family members. Reach out, oh God, to those people that we love and they have never known you as the Lord and Savior, that Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, you will reveal yourself to those that have not known you, that they may get Get to know you as the Lord and Savior. Jesus, you came to seek and to save that which was lost. Oh God, reach out to our extended members of family. Reach out to those people who are out there. Even my father, those that are in our own families, and they look like they are backsliding. They seem instead of going forward, they are retreating back because of the situations that they are going through. Lord Almighty, come and restore them back to yourself. Come and bring them back to yourself. Because you have always said that it is only those who are well connected to you. They are only those that are the branches that are connected to the vine. Those are the only ones that can produce. Those are the only ones that can bring forth the fruit. Because they are connected to the vine. Connect the church with the vine. Connect the church with the vine. That the church can be productive. That the church can rise. That your people can rise. Oh, Father, those who are not well connected with the vine and they are not able to produce because there is no connection. We call for connection this morning. We call for connection this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, you are our vine. You are the vine. And we ask in the name of Jesus that you help us to connect with you. Have the awakening of glory. So even, Lord, as we go to the next service, my Father, I commit our youth unto thy hand. May you bless our youth, O God. May you help them to rise, O my Father. So, O God, they have got different desires of life. Most of them see life differently, O God. But I pray in the name of Jesus that all of them shall reach to their destiny and all of them they shall serve their purpose for this generation in the name of Jesus. Lord bring it to them that every one of them have got a purpose to serve and help them Lord to be consistent. Help them to be persistent. Lord, in you, let them be persistent in the word. Let them be consistent in prayer. That my father, they will also be consistent and persistent in their holiness, in their righteousness. And Lord, we know those things cannot happen without you, without the help of the Holy Spirit of God. Oh, Holy Spirit of God, reach out to our youth, reach out to our young one, even as you reach out to the fathers and mothers and all of us. My Father, also we pray special prayer for our youth that they are not going to be consumed by the world, but Father, they will take the world by storm, because Holy Spirit of God, you are working in their lives. We commit the man to thy hands, and Father, we we give you praise and glory because you are here. We cannot forget our brother Julius who is unwell. Pastor Julius who is not feeling well this morning. Reach out to him, my father. Lord, and release your healing power upon his body in the name of Jesus. We said your word, my father, to wherever he is today. And we speak divine healing upon his body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We also said a word of healing upon our sister Barbara, who is unwell this morning. Jehovah, we speak healing that come from heaven above. Let her receive her healing in the mighty name of Jesus. 
anyone else in our congregation, anyone else who is a member of our family who might be sick out there, because you know all of us, Lord. We are your children. May you reach out to them and heal them because you are good God. We surrender our lives to you. We tell you, Jesus, we shall forever love you. We shall forever serve you. We shall forever want to walk, Lord, in you. Receive all the praise. Receive all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. In your holy name, we do pray and believe. So the church of Jesus say, Amen. Amen. Let's put those hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Could we appreciate our youth? What a wonderful people do we have in our youth. And just like it was said here, I believe by Pastor Coco, we have got our teachers. For these people to do what they are doing, it takes somebody to put in their time. It, put some, it takes somebody to sacrifice, to help them to get to where they are. And uh, we want to thank you, uh, Pastor Charles and Pastor Kathleen, for the good work that you do. <laughs> With our own people. Every seed that we sow in the kingdom, the Lord pays. Praise the name of the Lord. In fact, Paul said in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and I think verse 58, that let us remember our labor of love in God is not in vain. That's what we will tell you, because I don't know how you do it, but I see them here all the time. Whenever there is something like this that is about to happen, and even whenever there is nothing happening, they are still out there teaching them. And also our wonderful, wonderful people who teach our children, because sometimes we forget them. Uh, our pastor, our, our elder Stephen, and elder Jane, the very great ministry that they do. We are little ones. These people are always here to make sure, like the skate they did this morning, it takes time. And uh, they are invested to helping our children. Please let us be praying for these laborers who labor in the vineyard. And just like Pastor Coco threw the invitation, there is always something that you can do in the house of the Lord. And if you think you are looking for something to do and you don't know what to do, come to me. I will tell you, I will show you, I will show you, my sister, what you can do. There is so much to be done in the house of the Lord. Amen? Amen. So we are going to say the words of grace. Uh, that we may dismiss and uh, not dismiss, we have got a bad service. <laughs> Some of us, we are here by age, but we are still here and we will continue. Amen? So we we'll say the words of grace that we may enter the next service. It is normally very short and very powerful. It's a kind of kosher service. You might not hear the language or you might not understand the language, but it is a very, very powerful. The language of, hev of heaven, all of us, we understand it in the spirit. Amen? So please, if you are not going to work, stay for the Kigosho. Amen? Hallelujah. Let's say uh, the grace together. And now, of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord and in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless you. I want to welcome uh, Pastor Joanne, who is going to lead us. Amen. And uh, then uh, we will go to the next level. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Mother Niagosho, we are going to change to our Hebrew language. And I would just want to invite each and every woman, Rana and Sifiwe, all the ladies of the house to come to the altar. We are going to do the Kewosho, which is, means praise. Kewosho means praise. Family service here for you at this time. I'm born again. Ni mohonoku. Jesu ni ajiketa maudu manene. Ni ukurode dehi wake mwada ni agosho. Harema kumagara. Tawaya gaito maradhi mena mwike maudu manene. No inyu maradhi go. Okay, oh, tiny. I'm inviting all the ladies. Uh, uh, to me, or there, all the ladies, even the youth, 
even the youth are invited in this Hebrew service. Amen. Pastor Agnes, come and join me. Pastor Catherine, come and join me. All the ladies, Elder Jane, I see you there. Praise the Lord. Okay, to the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. We all have a testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Will somebody praise the Lord tonight? We're going to praise God. Hallelujah. It's a family of Christ is the answer. Hallelujah. If you're out there, hallelujah. 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 Sister Ruth, where is mom? Hallelujah.
Oh, God. 
ile wamode kaiwi tofaba atito tikuma hamuda makiwe igoro otato radi mete jeso wito wendo wa bili ondo wegana ile wito kai na no we kai to wakore kia mudamaki twene na bere yaku wende wamode kai twago dai da jehova we uigua ada murugu mwega atikore wode kai wito mudamaki kwena dena aya tumi ya maroga mine ha mudamaki mai wota da ya kai kuri mundu ragera maundu marito mwadani na wendo yora mona kai twagi wota ida mwai no wode uigue da jehova uigue da kai wito baba mwadani kuri amure kai toratura utwike wa gutonia mwadani kuri ashiana shionete kana dhuli mudamaki kai wito wa gutaida wai no wode kai wito wa ಮೇಷಿಯಾ <laughs> ಕೈಗೋರೋಗಿಲೇ ಕೈತೋ ಹಾಲೆ ಲೂಯ್ಯ ಐದಾಗ ಟಕೋರ ಒಂದೇ ನನ್ನ ತೀರೆ ನಮ